I'm Anil Madhavapedi. I'm a professor in computer science and a fellow at Pembroke College since 2015. I'm also the co-founder of the Cambridge Centre for Carbon Credits, where we're aiming to halt global tropical deforestation as soon as possible. My name is Arden. I'm a second year uh, PhD student in the plant sciences department and I study plant viruses. I have also joined the graduate parlor as the environmental representative. So Anil, I imagine my reasons for joining uh, the graduate parlor as environmental rep are similar to your reasons for starting the 4C. Um, could you tell me a little bit more about that? Absolutely. Uh, whenever we got started in computer science, we were trying to figure out how do we make the biggest contribution towards uh, the global challenges uh, we're facing in the climate. And, and so it was really, really encouraging to see that here in Cambridge, and here in Pembroke College in particular, which is one of the oldest colleges in Cambridge on its original site, that we're beginning this, this process in Mill Lane of building some of the most sustainable buildings uh, against this historical facade that has been here for, for so long. For example, in the Mill Lane development, we are uh, not only putting in air source heat pumps, which supply all of the electricity without requiring gas, we've also installed photovoltaic panels for about half of the residential um, uh, heating and electricity. Uh, and we've also installed modern lighting, for example, that will uh, dramatically reduce by about 80% uh, the electricity usage of our day-to-day -day operations. As a fellow, I feel really encouraged that uh, the values of the college are so aligned with my own environmental efforts. As a PhD student and a plant scientist, how do you feel about uh, Pembroke's environmental strategy? Yeah, I think, I think it's brilliant. I'm very excited as a plant scientist for all of the green spaces. I think within the larger Cambridge community, Pembroke College is really known and admired for its beautiful gardens. Mm -hmm. um, and I love that that's going to be continued uh, at the new site. For students, it's really a big plus to feel that you can be ethically and environmentally aligned with the place that you're calling home. And I think um, within the broader Cambridge community, one of the things that I find so encouraging about Mullane is that I think it's going to really raise the bar for any new development within the university. Absolutely. It is so important for Pembroke to, to take a leadership position here. And I think that this will uh, send ripples throughout the, the wider collegiate system to make sure that uh, there is, first of all, evidence that it is possible. It's possible to do in a scientifically robust way and also in an economic way as well. So, Anil, do you think that this focus on sustainability within Pembroke is going to be attractive to future fellows and students as they're considering um, coming to Pembroke or coming to Cambridge at all? In the last few years, uh, the dominant conversation I've had with the incoming undergraduates has been about how they can contribute to sustainability. This is a time for the entire institution to weave sustainability into the fabric of everything we teach, from history to economics to computer science to uh, to philosophy and, and ethics and try to weave all these together into something that will actually solve this problem in a, in a really comprehensive, in a really fair and a very just way uh, as soon as possible. And I can't think of anywhere better than Cambridge to pull that off.